Champions in just over two weeks out now from the first warm up game against Italy. And it's been quite a long camp uh, in the build up to it. How are the preparations going and how close to being kind of primed are you uh, two weeks out? Uh, yeah, I think things are looking pretty good. Um, you say it's been prolonged, but it honestly feels like it's flown by. Eh? It's been one of those things that feels like it's gone really quick, and we're, like you say, we're two weeks out from a fixture now. So, um, but to your point, I think we're we're looking pretty good. We've been working hard, and um, things are going well on the training paddock. So, uh, I think we're I think I speak for everyone when I say we're looking forward to to a Test match week. Yeah, and there'll be three good tests in terms of Italy, followed by England and Samoa. Quite physical tests, particularly leading up to, to the first of the group game, where you'll meet Tonga and South Africa and Scotland, particularly. So, how important is it to be physically prepared to what's, for what's to come in the group? Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? I think that's uh, one part of the game. We obviously work pretty hard in here training against each other, but um, once you start getting that proper bone on bone, it comes a bit different. So, a little, you know, a lot of us wouldn't have played in a good while. So, um, like you say, those. Those first few fixtures are massive in terms of getting up to speed, certainly from that point of view. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're looking forward to it, and um, there'll certainly be some good tests. You know, Italy are playing some good rugby. England, obviously, very solid, and Samoa have a pretty awesome uh, squad as well. So they'll be tough games, but um, should set us up well, hopefully, for for the World Cup. Uh, kind of coming off the back of different seasons, particularly from the Leinster and Munster player side of things, obviously. Leicester now losing out and I think the final what you want to win the URC. When you get into camp then, how long does it take to, for everybody to gel and meld and get a bit of slagging going on and, and kind of fall in together? Uh, look, the slagging starts straight away really, doesn't it? So, um, no, I think like we were obviously very disappointed with the way it finished up for Leinster, but it was so awesome to see a bit of silverware being won for, for one of the Irish provinces. So um, we were delighted for the Munster lads to, to get that overline, especially in South Africa unbelievably tough place to go and win so um, there's obviously a good bit of slagging that goes on but um, I think yeah deep down we're pretty pretty chuffed for them to to get that done and um, I suppose it gives us a little bit of momentum as well rolling on into the World Cup. Absolutely and just in terms of I suppose affecting the atmosphere of the group we heard the zero ruling that Johnny Sexton is going to miss the first three warm-up games but will be available for the first game of the World Cup. Has that affected his influence around the, the place or how the, the group has been kind of thinking or chatting or what impact has it had in general? Um, no, probably just more on Johnny personally. Eh? We like, we've tried to big him up and and get by his side, I suppose, but end of the day, it's one of those things. Eh? Um, um, he's still training away with the lads and he's still unusual, his usual self and has his, his, his normal kind of influence. So um, He obviously won't be there for the, the first three games, like you say, but um, he'll be hovering around the place ha having his usual input I'd say and just finally that before you came into camp the last time this group was together you won the Grand Slam how important is it for this group to harness the confidence you take out from winning the Grand Slam and bring that energy and that uh, drive through to the World Cup yeah it's massive isn't it um, like uh, I suppose uh, kind of think back to the kind of journey this squad has been on over the last kind of three years I suppose um, under Faz and, and the rest of the crew um, uh, like the Six Nations before last was you know we narrowly lost to France over there and um, I think just th those kind of moments they stick out for me and um, those kind of testing times I suppose will stand to us hopefully so we're obviously delighted with how the Six Nations went but um, I think it's important that we kind of park that and and continue to grow so um, yeah we've got some pretty awesome games to come up first before the World Cup to, to try and do that so we're looking forward to it for sure.